so in the last episode we have written this test and this test is simply for testing that if user is not verified if user has not given any OTP then user is redirected to the home page even after he is logged in so right, let's write another test for just the opposite of this so if the user is uh, verified then he can obviously get the access to the home page so we can say after login user can access home page if it is if verified so i will say if home page if verified that's good so yes i need to do all these things so let's copy from here paste it here so here inside this because on our factory that means on our user factory we have given is verified to zero now we need to override this so just give is verified to one so now our user which we have created by the factory which is verified and now we are using that user as a logged in user if we try to access the home page we are going to assert a status of 201 or 200 actually so let's try to run it and yes it is passed but if i say here user is zero is verified is zero try to run it it failed yeah that's the case because we have implemented the middleware in the last episode but one thing i didn't like with this approach of testing is that if i open my database you can see we have lots of user where this came from because we are using this factory and we are using this create which saying that okay persist these things on the database and that's why we have all these things but i don't want actually these things i just want the one we have created so what i will do i will just use a new trait here which is called database migration it's just going to uh, run all these things on the memory so now we need to configure the uh, php unit dot xml file and here just give the database we can say db connection and connection is uh, sqlite connection and uh, db database database is in memory so memory uh, that should be inside the colon memory colon okay so now it will not going to create this user inside the table yeah, that's good so how we can approach these things so first thing first what we need to do whenever the user logs in we need to send an email okay that's good so how we can approach this and where the user is logged in so if i go to here that means on the controllers folder we have this auth folder which is having four controllers and the important one is login controller in this we just have two things one is redirected to and other is constructor which is saying that okay you just have to give the middleware of guest accept the logout but now it has this trait which is called authenticates user trait if i go to this trait by just uh, pressing the command and then click so here inside this we can see we have this login function which is doing lots of things but inside this the important part is that first it is validating then it, it is checking that okay if it, it doesn't have too many login attempt then it is attempting the login so this is very important for us so we need to use this function so let's copy from here and override that function here because this is the trait authenticates user is a trait we have all that function inside the trait inside this controller but if we overwrite this function then this function is going to use instead of the function same function from the trait so what we are going to do whenever we are trying to attempt so we can see uh, we have these attempts of uh, uh, login so before that we need to send an otp via email so we will say mail and you have to use this at the top mail and the, we need to send a new mailable so we have all these things but you know first thing we need to write a test for this so let's write a test to check 
how we can send a mailable and mailable name is OTP uh, mail so we have not created this but yeah we will going to create it so let's comment this out and let's write a test for this so this is the middleware let's close it yeah web.php close it user factory close login test so this is not a login test this is a email test so let's go to the tests folder and here i just copy paste this file and yes we can create a test with the artisan command so php artisan make uh, test and the test name is email test this is good but uh, yeah it will be good if we copy and paste so test yeah this is good so let's uh, uh, empty out this write our own test and now the test name is an email or we can say an otp email is send when user is logged in okay so this is good so first thing again we need a user so user with a factory so user and that has to be class let's create a user and this is good so user is created and now we need to log in the user so this uh, acting as sorry so acting as and we need to pass the user so this is good but if we are using this approach this is not going to simulate that functionality that user is logged in so what we can do we can say we will going to give a post request to slash login and with the information of the user so why not give email as user email and we know the password password is actually secret so the secret okay because if you try to use the password from here it's not going to get because it is uh, obviously encrypted so this is good and after this we can assert so let's say response is this and on the response we can say assert redirect and assert redirect to redirect to base url so let's run it and this is going to fail why is that user table doesn't exist yeah okay so use database migration so run the test once more so running the test and it is failing because of some 500 error this means we have some programming error so maybe there is some exception we can say this without exception handling so without exception handling let's now run the test and we will see the exact error which is on our login controller so login controller is here i think we have not imported the request so that has to be this one and let's try to run the test once more yeah we have some different thing okay so it's redirected to home instead of this logging and that means the base url so this is good because we know whenever the user logged in whenever user log in then login controller redirected to home first then when the redirect home when the user is on home then our middleware work and that particular middleware redirected to the base url so this is good but we don't actually want to reassert this thing we want to assert that mail is sent so how we can check the assertion of email so for that you need to go to the laravel documentation and on this you just have to type uh, mail mock so mocking mail fake and here you can see firstly we need to create a mail instance of fake so let's use that fake mail here and we need to use which one yeah this has to be support facade so mail of support facade yeah we have created that and then we need to just say that mail assert send and whatever is the mailable or mail name so we need to assert here mail assert sent and the mail name we have created which is named like otp mail so otp mail colon colon class and yes it is good so let's try to run this 
and it says there is no OTP mail. So why not create that mailable? So let's create that. So PHP artisan make mail and my mail name is uh, this one OTP mail and we want the markdown also. So markdown is equal to uh, let's say OTP simple ODP just get that on here so let's import this here and yes it is imported and if I try to run once more and this time you can see it says mail will not send so this is the problem so let's send this mail send this mailable here so let's uncomment this we will say mail send new OTP okay so let's run it and we have some new error which is going to say that okay this class OTP okay and we have not imported it here so that's the magic of using uh, tests here because everything is uh, explained by the test that you have not imported that class so yes finally you can see that test is green this means we have successfully sent the email but we have not configured anything else like uh, the mail trap or how we can send the mail what we are going to send inside the mail we will do all these things in the next episode so till then if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel to follow me on this series and and you can follow me on facebook twitter for also so that you can get the inside stories of how i create these things and what i am going to create and then you can share these videos with your friends so also so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye